Hey guys, what's going on? Today I got a very unique video for you guys. Um, today I'm going to be showing you a Trailblazer motor that's blown up. So this Trailblazer motor is from my 2005 Chevrolet Trailblazer that I bought back in 2014 and or 2015 and this is the motor that came out of that uh this is the reason why i bought the vehicles because i need to replace a motor in it but this is that motor uh that i actually do have a video of this motor running i believe it is still up i could be wrong but i do have this a video of this motor running and if you guys listen to that video you can hear this thing just bang away this thing was screwed and I tell you what, I, I knew it was bad, but I didn't quite know it was this bad. Um, tearing it down, I was trying to get uh, the aluminum block and the aluminum head by itself, but I've had too many bolts snap in the head, so, you know, I'm just going to go ahead and scrap the motor the way it is. Uh, I got pretty far, actually, but didn't get quite there because uh, this bolt snapped, this head bolt, and then I have... Uh, a few more in the bottom that snapped so just figure it's not worth it uh so i'm gonna go ahead and show you guys why this motor failed um really our prediction don't mind that screw that was i threw that in the motor after uh after the fact but you can see the amount of sludge built up in this motor i mean it looks a lot better now because i've scraped quite a bit of it away but these uh allen head bolts were just full of s just crap you know uh, this water is just for, from it sitting open, but uh, a lot of this has just been uncovered for the first time today. And I can see one of the reasons why this thing blew up is because somebody went too long between oil changes. And this thing was probably burning oil, and it probably burnt all the oil out. And that's probably how they ran it out of oil, which we think is the reason why this blew up. I mean, it's about the only reason this thing blew up the way it did. So, I have the oil pan off here. And this, if the camera will focus here, here we go. These are your rod bearing caps right here. You know, you got one right there. If I'm gonna point in the right spot, it's kind of upside down, so it's kind of hard, but there you go. There's another one. There's another one up in there. So this, if you hear a rod knock, and if you go to, back to the video, you'll hear this thing knocking away. This is rod knock. Right here. That's not supposed to do that. That's right. It's the whole piston moving there. Look at that. And every single one of these, like this one, right here, this one, you can hear that, has play in it. Every single one has play in it. Every single one. That, these two right here, the one I just played with and the other one I just played with, are the worst. But I tell you what, even if you have a little bit of slop, it's going to make noise. And if you have a lot of slop, well, obviously your motor's gonna blow up pretty quick. I mean, uh, that's what happened to this motor. And uh, this is what happens when you run your motor out of oil. I mean, things start to heat up and then things will break because of friction and high temperatures. So, I mean, I'm even surprised this motor ran as long as it did. I mean, this motor was running when it came out of that uh, trailblazer, so. You could probably, if this thing was in good shape and everything was hooked up, it'd probably start. I mean, it would certainly not run well, but it would run at least for a very short time. I bet if you, as soon as you revved it up, it'd probably just totally seize up or shoot, shoot through the bottom of this aluminum pan. Uh, you can see in here, this is the oil pan. All the bearing material. Lots of good, good size chunks in here i mean it's just all over the bottom of this pan i mean look at this it's really quite bad so there you guys have it that's what a blown up motor looks like inside uh how this thing even ran i do not know uh i knew it was bad but i didn't expect it to be this bad i mean i'm tearing in it so many years later uh this is what six years later i'm tearing into this motor so 
just seeing how bad it was so and also I wanted to scrap the motor but uh, at least some pieces to get aluminum price but I guess I'm not going to do that because it's just too much of a headache it's not worth it so there you guys have it uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video this is just a little bit of info and learning basically what happens when your motor blows up I mean this is look at this yeah somebody didn't take care of this motor at all this is junk so anyway like comment subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next video uh, this is definitely one of the more unique videos I've had so far uh, I just figured it'd be a little bit uh, of an eye-opener and how important it is to have oil in your engine obviously so there you guys have it Bye-bye, everybody.